Previously on Building a Beach Home. Whatever you want, we can do. It takes only two things, time and money. Black or white windows. Black. White. Okay. The problem with custom home is there's too many options. Let's go with the blue penny tile. One thing that Layla's teetering with is the reclaimed beam look. I just, I feel like I'm partial to painting them white. Why don't we go with this, okay. uh, with the white finish? Yep. I think I want to go with the other vanity. You want to change now. Now we have a delay. They really want to be in for Memorial Day. This is not happening. So here we are, Layla wants what she wants. She just thought she wanted that cabinet style vanity, but she switched to a furniture style vanity. Now that the house is gonna sit, we're definitely not gonna hit Memorial Day, their target date. At this stage of construction, this is really the only time for the client to really to see behind the walls. So they feel that much more confident with the whole build, this structurally, that this house is gonna stand the test of time. So walking through at this stage is important to me. Um, I take a lot of pride in what I do. I sleep very well at night because we overdo everything. It's the structure of the house. Paint can be changed, sheetrock can be changed. This is what makes the house. That's why I'm so adamant about the selections. And I'm so adamant about the first four that are so important to building the home. Because it's what's going in the walls right now. Without the plumbing, without the vanities, without the cabinetry, without the appliances, how do we know where to put this plumbing pipe? How do we know where to put this electrical outlet? But without this stuff, the basis, you know, the base of the pyramid, I can't give you what you want. All right, guys, so right now we're in the family room. We have our rough wiring in, our rough plumbing is in, our rough HVAC is in. What are you measuring now, Jeff? I've noticed you used uh, two by sixes for your outside. So can you tell me why you're using them instead sure. of standard two by four? Yeah, no problem. As the energy code has caught up to us, actually, uh, a lot more people are going to two by six. We use that for basically energy efficiency. Okay. So now you're getting an energy efficient house. You have better insulation in the walls. We're putting a better plywood on it, which is stopping the draft. And the biggest thing down at the shore is wind and water. Yeah. The floor we're sitting on, we only use Advantex plywood. It doesn't move, it doesn't swell. I'm a big guy, doesn't move. <laughs> wow. wow, okay. As you can see on the window, we actually do these in all the places there's gonna be plumbing and cabinetry and such. And this actually has the rendering, oh. as well as the layouts and everything else we need for installation. There you go, so if you stand here, oh, stand helpful. about right here, right. that's the viewpoint of your kitchen. Got oh, because there's the windows. Yeah. Correct. So you have seating on this side okay. and this side. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, and then that this really will wrap around. It. Keep yeah. it simple. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, that helps. Makes it work. It's great seeing these. Oh, wow. This is the master bedroom. Look how I, it looks with the, the vaulted ceiling. I'm so glad we went with the vaulted ceiling. Yeah. Yeah, I like look this. Look at that ceiling. <gasps> oh, my God. I'm going to cry. This is like dreams come true. This is why we're doing this. Oh who would not want that view? Thank you so no much. Thank you so much pleasure. for showing us around. I'm glad I could show it to you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. No problem. Hey, hey, Steve. How's it going? Hey, what's up? How you doing? I want to talk to you about the beams. So, you know how originally I loved the reclaimed, and then I went with the white after seeing it in the showroom. Here's the thing. I'm just... I'm coming to you as like my therapist, my mediator in this, because I have not talked to Joe. I haven't talked to Tor or Pat or anyone. So is it too late to go with this? Absolutely not. I wanted this from the beginning. I know you did. So and agreed. the thing is, I just flip-flopped. I went back and forth. But I'm worried about how this is going to affect things. I'll work on Tor. you got to work on Joe. But uh, it's going to take a little bit longer. But you loved this from the beginning. I knew that. I you know? did, But it's yeah. a process to kind of look at it and, you know, weigh yeah. out your options. So I'm excited, let's do this. So what are the next steps then? Should I go talk to Pat or? Yeah, you talk to Pat, I'll talk to Tour okay. about the delay perhaps. Well, I knew I could come to you and great. trust you with awesome. this, so thank, thank you. I'm excited, it's gonna be great. All right, good. So the house that Layla and Joe rented had the white beams and they were kind of a style that we've done the last three to five years and these new reclaim beams were new. So we had to work on her a little bit, but at the end of the day, we got our reclaim beams. So Barb, as you know, we have had some upgrades. One of those was the vanity, thanks to the misses, of course. But um, how is that going to impact us financially? Okay, so we're going to take care of this change order so that okay. we can keep things moving on the job. It's for the vanity overage, and the change order is going to cover the plumber to come back okay. and for the cabinets. So by paying this, this will keep everything by on schedule? By paying this, it'll keep everything on schedule, keep the, everything moving. Okay. Well, I told my wife that these changes were going to cost us, so I brought a check <laughs> <That's good. laughs> to do so. so. 
In a perfect world, Tor would love everything written down. You know, in the beginning, this is exactly what we're gonna put in the house. But, but people change, they see things, they, they flip flop. So I knew going in, I was gonna have a little bit of a rocky road uh, with Tor, but I had everything prepped. Tor! Yeah. Oh, you're here. Yes, I'm here. All right, don't kill me. I just had What'd a design. What'd you change now? What's that? What'd you change now? I just had a design meeting mm -hmm. with the clients. Reclaim beams. Uh huh. I know it's a change, but we're gonna do. Do they understand the delays? They will after you tell them. Uh, main beam here. These two beams and that beam right there all reclaimed from provenance. Where's my drawing? I got it. Okay. I knew you were gonna ask. But it's gonna be, we're gonna do that simple, rustic look. Nothing I, simple. When you start designing stuff, Steve, you make beautiful things, don't get me wrong, but it's never simple. But it can be done. Anything can be done, it just takes time and money. You it's know all, that. That's all I wanna hear. As long as they're willing, I got no problem. So I had him in my back pocket, because I knew that was gonna be his first question. Where's my paperwork? Where my, where's my plan? You know, so I do get a little joy out of uh, rocking the boat with Tor. So Pat, we have some changes on 120. Steve brought to my attention today. Yeah. It's gonna to be, uh, apparently they had some design meeting um, with Joe and Layla uh -huh. about adding beams in the front room like he loves to do. And they're gonna be through Providence, of course, so I'll have to deal with that side of it, but I wanna make sure we get a design from Steve, make sure it's in writing, make sure the owners sign off so I can follow through with how we're actually gonna build it. Okay. All right, Joe, I know you're very concerned about the integrity of your house. So what I brought you out here, and I brought out Jim Crescent from Anderson, and I brought out yeah, T from me. Huber. Nice to meet you. Okay. Nice to meet you. So Thank you. They're gonna help us explain what we do to make sure we're doing everything humanly possible to make that, that weather tight seal on your house. Yeah, just wrapping up this exterior installation, you know, before we move inside, Joe, as you can see how this whole system works together. Yeah. We've never had a water infiltration on the window. Ever. So it's a good record. Yeah, so what you're looking at is an entire weatherization system. So this is zip system sheathing and tape. And this tape that Harbaugh is using around these windows is actually an acrylic adhesive that when it's rolled, like they've done here, it bonds over time. So it's going to stick. It's a 30 year warranty. This thing is sealed up and it's not going to leak. So technically, we could put siding right on this. We could put shingles right on this house. Okay. But we don't. We go that one extra step. We put felt up. And then that is also another weather resistant barrier. Oh, so we wow. have two layers of defense because of where we're at. Now, when that comes up to the windows, the siders who put up that weather resistant barrier will now zip tape again. So if like Hurricane Layla happens to just come up the coast. <laughs> Absolutely. We're safe. <clears throat> Standard code requires a structural sheathing plus a house wrap or weather barrier. Zip system sheathing is something that Harbaugh is using to go above and beyond to protect your house. You know, we're, we're very comfortable when any of our clients using a zip system. You know, we know that we're not gonna have any issues and uh, you know, we've been super, super successful using this system. See, and Layla Lay was giving me uh, some grief about stopping by today to see what was going on, but we learned something new today. I'll have to- Great timing. Yes, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> this is great. As we move into the inside of the house, I wanted to show you something we put on every window now. Come a little closer for me. We put a product ID up here. That tells us the day the window was made, what shift it was made on. We know that this window has grills in the upper sash. We know it's low weight glass. So that's the ID? That's our product ID. Okay, we also put a, a, a date in the corner here of the glass that that ID somehow falls off or goes away. We have a backup here. Okay. Things are starting to make sense. <laughs> There's a lot of moving parts in any one house. Absolutely, so. I'm noticing that. But thank yeah. you for taking care you know, of it. I'm so glad you stopped by. Absolutely, I mean, yeah, we had a I'm chance glad. to meet. I'm glad. For us, it starts with durability. Advantech has been on the market since the mid '90s, and this is the strongest, stiffest, and most durable subfloor that a builder could use. About that. We've got a ton of flakes of wood that go into this panel, and each one of those flakes is coated with a special resin. What that resin does when it goes into the press is it gives this panel an extreme moisture durability. With Advantech subflooring, you have a lifetime warranty. So Joe, here's just a small sample of the Advantech and, and a little bit of what makes it different. One, we have a, a special tongue and groove. Okay. So when those panels go together, it's very snug, gives you a tight fit. 
What that means is you've got rigidity, so that's not going to move okay. in between your floor joints. So it's not bending. Exactly. Okay, perfect. Exactly. And you can also see the edge profile there. Every single one of these flakes is coated with that special resin. And these are components, very key components, that are making that important base. It's not just the hardwood, though. It's under the tile sure. that's going to go on your bathrooms. It's going to be under your cabinets. We build a very strong home using very good products which aren't cheap, but it's worth it for the durability and the longevity of the house. It makes me feel a lot safer and better, you know, moving forward, so awesome. Good. awesome. Good All right, Joe, we're gonna make this easy. Obviously, it's hard to get up on the roof. It's yeah. a little bit dangerous. We'll leave that to the framers, but let's fly <laughs> this drone up there and see what's going on. Oh, this is awesome, thanks. So you'll notice here, we've got the green zip system on the walls, but on the roof, it's red. Mm -hmm. It's the same product, it's the same system, but the red is actually a half inch, it's a thicker panel than you have on the walls. And I see you're using the seams again on, uh, on the panels, right? Exactly, okay. exactly. What that does is that gives you a sealed up roof deck. Okay. So if, if an event of a hurricane comes through, your finished roof blows off, you're gonna be sealed up, those seams are all sealed, and bulk water is never gonna be able to enter the house. Thank you guys so much. This was definitely worth me stopping by today. I've learned a lot. I gotta run. Thank you for everything. Always, Thank you, Tor. I will catch you later. Whenever you good need. See you, it was Let great to know. meet you. Thank nice you so very you. much. All right. Bye bye. So we're almost there, right? You guys had some changes. You know we're not gonna be hitting that target date, but this house is a lifetime, you know? It's not yeah. just for that Memorial Day or 4th of July, so. Yeah, yeah we happened? really wanted to have no regrets going into this, you yeah. know? Seeing our, our home, the finished product, you know, we just wanna be totally fine with it. Yeah. So we, we really are, we're happy with everything Absolutely. we've chosen. It's gonna be great. You don't wanna be sitting in the house saying, hey, I wish I would've done that, especially at this level, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. Thank you for guiding us along the way. We really felt like you kind of understood us, you understood our vision and what we were looking for and especially with the beams thank you for uh, a little bit of encouragement <laughs> I've, been wanting to, I've been wanting to do that i think it's gonna look great sure yeah i'm so excited about it i think the reclaimed beams just accent the house really well and i just think it, it looks amazing I can't wait to show it to you well, we can't wait yeah. to see it <laughs> So in this stage in the house right now, we are doing our rough electrical. Uh, the electrician had some questions of what had been discussed during the electrical walkthrough with the owner. Why do we have anything above? That's because I can't get anything centered. Anything that is going it through. doesn't have to be centered on the light, on the window. You Because you have the barn light. Okay, that works for me. Normally, it all comes down to me. I'm the one that's laying down the law. So I need disconnects to turn my units on to give you air condition in the house. Stop the email around. You need power. I need power. Well, if you schedule with it, then we wouldn't have this issue. You talked to my boss. Yeah, your boss didn't tell me. He said he did. It's like 12 year olds. He said, she hey, said. You and him are like. Come on. I find any problem that I come across, fix the problem, move on, but figure out what caused the problem and learn from that and not do it again. In Stone Harbor, it's very interesting how to get power to your house because one, there's an ordinance where all electrical or all utilities must be underground. So that way you don't see the wires in the, in the air, which of course causes issues sometimes with the pools across the street, down the block. We're gonna go right here, remember, you gotta worry about flood here. It's gonna go right in the corner and we're going to that pole. What are you gonna bore it? Yes, underground boring going this way and that way. So you gotta make sure it's set for underground and then the boring company will take it from there. After electric is done, the next thing would be bringing in our framers again to finalize all the framing details. We insulate every aspect of the home. We do, of course, the outside shell, which is required by code, but we go above and beyond and every floor gets insulation, every wall gets insulation, then we'll go into inspections. Uh, that inspection is done, we will now sheetrock. Sheetrockers always get the house for at least two weeks. After that, we'll go into trim. I have a lot of favorite features of homes. One of my favorites is what I'm very, very passionate about is the trim. We're known for our trim. We use miles, literally miles of trim in these homes, whether it be the shiplap, the molding, and the detail over the windows and doors. I get involved as a trim designer, so I love going in when the guys are doing the work. One of the top three things that people say, their trim is amazing. So this whole wall, this whole bump out, shiplap up, and we'll miter the edges versus that one by four. Yeah. All right, good, I like it, let's do it. So to have all this wainscoting and all this molding and the layers of molding, it really creates that wow look when you walk into a home.
So right now these guys are installing the cedar. If you see, they're taking each individual piece of cedar and hand fitting it to each place on the wall. It's a very time consuming process. Steve sets it up so we have the proper materials and the look to finish the house in the way that the client has in their dream. We're 30 days away, it's crunch time, a lot going on today. We've got the AZAC guys out here finishing all the trim on the outside of the house. This is one of my favorite features. This is gonna be a hot tub. This is a bridge, so this is gonna actually get bluestone topping on it, and the water's gonna run right under us into a sun shelf, and then eventually into our pool over here. Tomorrow, they're gonna plaster this, so it looks like a construction site today, but tomorrow, it's actually gonna look like a real pool. A lot can happen in 24 hours. the raw bar like the tower. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, we'll take a lobster, we'll support that. So we're almost there, right? I know, we're so excited. All we can think about is like moving into this home and just making it ours. You have all your selections down, so we do. we're in good shape. Yeah. Well, uh, Greg's are both are here today because I have something I'd like to discuss actually. Next time on Building a Beach Home. Yes, we're getting there. Are you serious? I, I really, he does have a point. They understand the delay it's gonna cause. I can't put the toilet in. I can't put the vanity in. I can't get the countertops on. I can't get the countertops on. I can't do the plumbing. We'll have to have you come over some wine and celebrate with us. Nice wine? Yes, I come. I never said the end of the world. I gave realistic expectations. Never gonna happen, I Steve. I never never gonna that. happen. I never said that. In literally five to seven days, we could hand over a house. Oh Look at my this. goodness. Wow.